In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some Clash Cup League Elite action with King Jeffrey. Let's get into it. What is up everybody, it is JG Norris here and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some CCLE or Clash Cup League Elite action with King Jeffrey here, the clan that I'm currently playing in with my Town Hall 13 account. If you haven't heard of Clash Cup League already, I highly recommend you check it out. I will leave the Discord and the Twitter in the description below so you can look more into it. But we just had our second war of, or we had our second war of the league, week two against this Greek clan. So I wanted to show off a couple of attacks. We've got a variety of attacks today. I've got some Queen Charge Miners, some Queen Charge Hogs, some Queen Charge Lalo. For anyone who thinks that it may be dead at Town Hall 13, it definitely isn't. So we're gonna go ahead and start off the video here with Zed going in on their number one. He's bringing some Queen Charge Miner, a very popular strategy at the moment. It seems like Queen Charge Miner and Hogs is really in the meta at the moment, and sometimes we're seeing combinations of both, which I have featured in this video as well. So starting with the Queen walk down here by the Town Hall, very basic stuff. So we started this raid off with a baby dragon to funnel there, but it actually ended up getting taken down by the Teslas early. So sends in a few miners to make sure that Archer Tower goes down, so that way the queen will go up. A few Skelly's going to slow her down, but at the moment, because just the healers or the healers are healing her, and it's just the town hall and a cannon, she'll be fine. He is going to rage through it though, just to kind of make sure that you know he's all right. He's going to get to the Tesla, and then eventually the king should step up. No, he doesn't. The king doesn't step up. And hit the queen, but the CC does get pulled. Three ice golems seems to be the favorite at the moment. Not so much because it does a lot of damage, but just because it'll take a good 15 seconds out of your raid very easily. So it starts with a poison that's going to deteriorate the ice golem's health as time goes on. Multi beam isn't going to do much against the queen, especially with the healers. And now it's really just a matter of patience. He's planning on jumping into that Inferno compartment. So starts with the king over by 3 o'clock to make sure that it can get a bit more of a funnel to force the queen inside of the base. So here goes the jump spell down in between the uh, air defense compartment there. He's going to jump into that Inferno and take it down. He plans on using another rage at some point here. Scatter shots against queen charges, funny enough, have been really effective. I've seen a lot of bases actually keeping those scatter shots together to prevent queen charges or actually just get a lot of DPS in one area. So that seems to be a popular base building meta at the moment. So Siege Barracks is going to go up at about 11 o'clock or so and then the miners are going to come in from the 12 to 2 o'clock side around that area. And you can kind of see the path for the miners already formed. He's got a few more heal spells. Queen is still alive. Ability has been used though, so she's eventually going to die out due to those Expos and the Grand Warden statue. But now it's just time for the miners to do work. And you can kind of see the pathing in the base. Those that compartment with literally nothing in it, just the walls, and that it's like a dead zone, is really going to keep the miners inside of the base. And because you've got all those wizards and hogs on the outside, it's going to also force them inside of the base. Using that freeze on the scatter shot and Inferno, Royal Champion ability pops off, and it's already looking smashed as is. He's really pushing through this base just fine. All the spells have been used. Three wizards left to clean up, but he's going to be able to get through this here. So Queen Charge Miner has definitely been in the meta as of the Town Hall 13 update, especially with the level 7 Miner introduction. Here come a couple of cleanup wizards just to get things done. Royal Champion behind all of the Miners, and that's going to be a triple for Zed here. So this war was actually a fantastic war. Uh, we really did well. This was our best war of the CCL. Uh, this is our best war of the CCL to date, even though it's only week two. We're hoping to get better as time goes on. So yeah, brilliant stuff here by Zed, getting it done at Town Hall 13. Uh, which, by the way, I should mention, for anyone who doesn't know what Clash Cup League is, I highly recommend you look more into it. Clash Cup League Elite is comprised of nothing but Town Hall 13 action throughout the entire thing. It's nothing but Town Hall 13. So personally, it's, it's one of my favorite leagues mainly because I participated in it, as well as I just love seeing the highest level gameplay possible with some of the best players in the world. So now we've got Yoda over here going in on their number three. He's going to be bringing some Yeti Smash, so I had to, I, I would have had to feature at least a little bit of Yeti Smash in this video. I only have one hit with Yeti Smash just because it was so popular, and it seems to be highly in the meta at the moment, mainly just because Yetis are so strong. I'm expecting, personally, a nerf at some point, but I don't know if that's truly going to happen. So, starting off with a Warden Walk up at about 1 o'clock, King and a P.E.K.K.A. going in at about the 3 o'clock area to create more of a funnel. He's going to drop those Quakes right over the scatter shot, but he doesn't trigger the Town Hall. And that's super crucial. If you're going to use Quakes on these Yeti Smash Raids, you don't want to be triggering the Town Hall because then that's just a bunch of unnecessary damage on your troops before they even get there. So he's going to tome through the Town Hall, going to take that down easily, get through a scatter shot, going to tome through an Eagle Blast as well because, man, that 
level 50 war in the tome seems to last like almost forever it's crazy so the yetis are pushing through he's got that royal champ with the siege barracks up top by about that's about like 11 or so and the yetis are pushing through this base here now you can kind of already see he's got a lot of this base open but there's a back in inferno that none of his troops can reach just yet but that's where the hogs are going to come into play here so queen bounces outside which is not ideal but it actually ends up working out for him here because she's going to be able to pick off this inferno I think if she went in the middle, she would have picked it off anyways, but it also just helps with a little bit of cleanup to be able to take down that side. Here come the hogs, heal spell over the inferno, and again, Yeti Smash is just crushing it at Town Hall 13 right now. So he's got a bunch of cleanup left, plenty of time, still has the world champion ability and the queen ability, so essentially he just swagged both in this raid. Uh, some fantastic stuff here. Yeti Smash seems to be one of the most popular ground strategies, and I think it's mainly just because of how like quote unquote safe it is because if you have a good plan to go for the town hall as well as you know just push through the base you can do some you can do some pretty good damage it's I'm not gonna lie it's uh it's pretty crazy so i expect a future nerf at some point who knows we might see it we might not but anyways now we're going to be taking a look at ked bringing in some queen charge hogs i told you there would be plenty of variety in this video we've got five different attacks to show you guys today it's great so he's going to start with a queen walk down by uh he's gonna start with the queen walk down by six king up by what is that i'm just blanking here nine <laughs> king up by nine with a bowler to get a couple more buildings out of the way he, he's planning on jumping his queen inside of the base you notice that jump spell there so he's going to jump her straight into the eagle uh, which is going to get him tons of value here so the queen has really nowhere to go other than inside of that jump king has cleared that entire side so now she's going to go straight towards the eagle. Coco Loon going to go in just to make sure there's no seeking air mines that could potentially kill his healers. King ability is going to pop, so he's going to be able to nab that scatter shot, which is going to help his queen walk a lot. Because again, like I said earlier, scatter shots have actually been decently effective at stopping queen walks as well. And we're also starting to see more single target infernos used to stop either yetis or especially queen charges. So that's definitely been something very interesting that's come back in the meta. Normally before Tunnel 13, we saw nothing but multi-target infernos and if you ever ran a single you would just get absolutely destroyed by something like witches or bats but now we're starting to see that single target infernos have a little bit more use to them with the scatter shots being another splash damage defense on the base so you're going to go ahead and freeze the expo and the enemy queen so that way he can keep his queen alive without using the ability he wants to save that as long as he can slammer is going to come in from about the six o'clock side take down the multi inferno and save his healers and here come the hogs from about the three o'clock side so you can kind of see the pathing with the hogs here. There's no exterior defenses that will path them outside of the base. So the pathing is perfect for the hog riders here. Royal Champion is going to come in and keep them inside of the base here. They're going to be moving through. Queen stays alive, which is huge. She's going to be able to get another expo and a bit more value for his raid here. So he's saving that Eternal Tome ability for the Town Hall. That's his main goal with it. So he's going to hold off on it for a while. Giant Bombs are going to start going off. He's going to freeze the Town Hall, which is going to save his hog riders a lot of HP. And now they get stuck in a tornado trap, which drags them straight to the town hall. Going to pop the warden's ability a little bit early, but that's okay because it will still last past the gigabomb effect. And now you can kind of see in depth here this the freeze effect on the hog riders and how slow it actually makes them. So charging into the town hall in, in this particular raid could have been, you know, not the best idea because his hogs would have been frozen for a couple of seconds. But I don't think time would have mattered anyway. He absolutely crushed this base. Fantastic job here by Ked getting it done. For King Jeffrey. Uh, another fact about this war, it was a ton of fun. Uh, honestly, we got the most triples that we've gotten so far in the league, even though it's only been two weeks. We're hoping to continue this. We're currently 2-0. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be great. It's been a ton of fun so far. So now we're going to take a look at Will here, bringing some Queen Charge Lalo. And uh, there's a very specific reason why I want to show this raid, because it wasn't looking too pretty, but did get it done. So he's going to start with a Queen Charge over by the 9 o'clock side. Going to get the Queen to take down a couple of trash buildings here, and then eventually he's going to want her to jump into the base. And you can kind of tell what he's trying to get here. He wants those two Infernos. So Queen's going to start moving up, shooting this Elixir Storage up here. Eventually he's going to drop the jump to, to try and get the Queen inside of the base here. So the Queen's going to take down that Tesla, Gold Storage, and then she should bounce straight inside of the base, which is exactly what he wants. So the Lot Hound and the Ice Golem is going to pop out. This another popular CC com or defensive CC combination because you've got that Ice Golem that slows the Queen's attack, and you've got the Lava Hound that takes forever to die. However, if you rage the Queen, especially a maxed one, it seems to take down the Lava Hound fairly quickly, as well as with a late poison here, he's going to be able to nab most of the Lava Pups, which is huge. Uh, again, really, these defensive CCs are only meant to slow the raid down and 
cause time fails. You there is a potential to use like three witch CCs or a bunch of witches in a CC and slow things down. But if the attacker is bringing a poison, it's gonna last a few seconds and eventually they're just gonna go down. So bring a lava hound or three ice golems or lava hound and ice golem. It seems to be in the current meta at the moment. So queen's gonna step up, take down another inferno tower, gonna take down the enemy queen. So tons of value here with this queen walk. And here comes the Lalo in straight into the town hall here. So he's going to be moving in with his Lalo, going to freeze the Expo and Wizard Tower compartment. Here comes the second Lava Hound, a bit late with the Slammer, a couple of cleanup minions right behind to get the cleanup already started to prevent any time fails. Queen is still alive in the middle, kind of tanking two Expos at the moment, so she's going to be able to step up and take them down. Now the Scattershot's locked on the Queen, so you're going to see some real damage start happening to the Queen as her health deteriorates. You'll notice everything pathed away from the Town Hall. I don't know if this was a part of the plan, but literally everything avoided the town hall. So nothing's getting hit by the town hall other than the warden who stayed with the king. But eventually he's going to have to go back for the town hall at the end of this raid. So the queen is staying alive in the middle here. She's tanking a lot. I think his queen was totally an MVP in this raid. He's got that royal champion behind his main Lalo. And here goes the Lalo towards the town hall now, which is the final defense after this expo and cannon goes down. Oh. Okay, well, the cannon doesn't go down, so the royal champion is going to have to dial back straight towards the cannon and take that down. And now you've got the slammer with the loons moving towards the town hall. Now, the loons alone would definitely not be able to take down this town hall. They're just going to get absolutely roasted by the Giga Inferno. However, the slammer with its crazy amount of HP is just going to be able to melt this town hall with ease. No worries at all. Slammer actually even stays alive, and now he's just got a bit of cleanup, getting it done for King Jeffrey with a... Queen Charge Lalo, something we don't see as often, but is still super effective at Town Hall 13. So now we're going to move into our final attack of video. Is yours truly going in with a hybrid army, Queen Charge Miner and Hog. They have, a, have to give a big shout out to Vicious and King Jeffrey for kind of, I guess, introducing me to this attack. He hit my base a couple times with it, and I was like, okay, this is really strong. I'm going to try and... Uh, Give this a shot here. So starting with a queen charge over by about the 10 o'clock side. I wanted to jump the queen straight into the base, get the inferno, scatter shot, CC, maybe even the queen. So I've got the king up top doing a bit of funneling, popping the ability early to get him moving to make sure he can take down those uh, trash buildings to make sure the queen goes in the middle. Dealing with a couple of issues here because the CC went up towards the king rather than towards the queen, but I think it worked out better for me here because the queen was able to push in and get a couple of defenses out of the way to keep the queen charge relatively safe and keep the healers untargeted by everything. So now I'm in a bit of trouble here because that baby dragon has targeted on my healers and I've noticed it. So I'm dropping a poison, I'm going to drop a rage, and eventually I'm actually going to freeze this baby dragon because I want zero sh zero shots on my healers and eventually that baby dragon is going to go down. I didn't need to drop those archers but I dropped them in just in case to take the to take the baby dragon down. So now you've got the queen going through her. Haven't popped the ability yet but I'm out of rages. I only have one freeze so at this point I know okay the queen won't really do a whole lot more here for me. She's just gonna I'm just gonna let her run her course and do whatever and so now I've got the siege barracks up top. You could probably guess where the miners and hogs will be coming in from. So hogs will be coming in from about the 10 o'clock to 12 side. Just this, that area over there. So now I've got the queen in the middle. And rather than using this freeze on this Inferno Tower, I opt in for just using the queen ability to try and push through it because I noticed that enemy king over there. And I was like, I want my queen to get this town hall. But the moment she wanders into the town hall range, king is going to lock onto her. So I ended up using the freeze on the king. Queen's going to be able to get through that and start targeting the town hall. I've got the wardens following the hogs and miners. The, the wardens. I've got the warden following the hogs and miners as they go through, take down the scatter shot. It's going to tome through this inferno and scatter shot. Queen will be able to nab this town hall, basically leaving all my troops completely protected and just ignoring the town hall. Miners crushing through. This has been a super strong strategy and I've enjoyed personally using it. Out of all the attack strategies I showed this war and all the hits, Honestly, the one that you should really be using is the Yeti Smash. Most people are starting to build bases to specifically defend Yeti Smash because of how strong it is. However, with me personally, I've been loving to use this Hybrid Queen Charge Minor Hog Raid. It's been one of my personal favorites. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe for some more Clash of Clans content, as well as follow me on Twitch. Sometimes I've done some live planning on stream. I've done a bit of base building. I've done a bit of farming. All sorts of stuff on stream. If you want to be able to check that out, please be sure to check out the description in or the link in the description below, as well as check out the Clash Cub League Discord and Twitter page that will also be in the description as well. So yeah, that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. See ya.